from the Digital Media Center on the campus of Southern Oregon University in Ashland, Oregon. This is Ramping Up Your English, an educational program for intermediate level English language learners. Here's your host for Ramping Up Your English, John Letts. Welcome to Ramping Up Your English. Ramping Up Your English is for English language learners from all language backgrounds who have already begun the process of learning English as their second language. It's a program for people of all ages. If you're seeking greater English proficiency, this program is designed to help you reach that goal. Ramping Up Your English is a support program for English learners who have already passed the beginning stages of learning English. We take a content-based approach to helping you reach higher English proficiency. We use English to teach English. The theme of our first unit is Trains and Railroads. This is episode 10, segment one. In our last episode, we journeyed on the legendary Sunset Limited from the low desert, desert country of southern New Mexico, within 20 feet of the Mexican border, to the bayou country of Lafayette, Louisiana, watching the train pull out toward New Orleans. Today, we reverse the journey, following Amtrak's train number one from its station of origin, New Orleans. New Orleans, the comeback city from Hurricane Katrina, is where Amtrak Sunset Limited begins its westward journey toward Los Angeles. Four flags have flown here, flags from France, Spain, the Confederate States of America, and the United States. The charm of this unique southern city has never dimmed, not from storms nor from battles. It's a city of music, history, and good times, not to mention good food and warm people. The Sunset Limited heads west from this balmy place, chasing the sunset across swamp, bayous, and sprawling deserts. This famous train, train number one, crosses the wide Mississippi River on the Huey P. Long Bridge, named for a Louisiana governor and popular leader. It's the longest railroad bridge in the United States at 4.4 miles, built in 1935. Now on the west side of the Mississippi, the Sunset Limited rolls through Shriver and New Iberia to Lafayette. If Acadiana were a state instead of a cultural region, Lafayette would be the capital. It's named after that French general who helped George Washington during the Revolutionary War. It's the cultural and geographic center of the region, a place of business, art, and culture, and unforgettable food. We'll get off here to visit the rice capital of the world. Of course, that's Crowley. This is an area known as the Acadiana Prairie. It's flat country with fertile soil. There are lots of farms here, growing rice and soybeans. Here's my cousin and sister during soybean harvest. Here are fields in the winter prepared for next year's crops. If you're wondering where the bayous are, Acadia Parish has them too. This bridge crosses Bayou Plaquemine. Bayou Plaquemine starts north of Crowley and drains into the Mermintaw River. This area has cypress trees. These are called cypress knees. Both are beautiful features found at the water's edge. You don't have to go far to see cypress trees here. And you don't have to go anywhere at all to see rice fields. When the rice crop has been harvested and October comes around, Crowley hosts the International Rice Festival. 
Residents see the familiar downtown area transformed into a splashy collection of booths, most of them selling festive food. We were on a mission to find pork chop sandwiches. Mission accomplished at this church food stand. We came on a Friday afternoon when the food was fresh and the crowds thin. Downtown Crowley was a riot of color and food and aroma and food and more food. Gumbo, turkey drumsticks, and more. This could be your only chance to taste Zydeco shrimp or fried alligator on a stick. For my wife Liz, this was her first rice festival. People come from all around. And by Saturday night, this street looks very different. Here's the main stage, located at the courthouse. And here's a secondary stage, with a reminder to watch the children's parade. And here's the carnival rides that we always look so forward to as kids. You find rides in games and restrooms. If you want clean ones, they're available for a price. You don't have to go home if you spend all your money. There's a mobile bank machine. You can just pull out more money from your account. For tractor fans, you could see antique tractors and one that's not so antique for little tykes. I was looking forward to the demonstration of the thrashing machine. My uncle used one of these when he was young. I got to see the equipment all right, but they were having trouble firing up that old Model D John Deere. So we headed home to eat those huge pork chop sandwiches. The Sunset Limited roars right through Crowley, but it doesn't stop here. The stop after Lafayette is Lake Charles. Reservations? Yep. Okay, well, you enjoy dinner. Thank you. Thank you. With our dinner reservation set, we were free to enjoy the last light of day behind the Interstate 10 bridge over the Calcasieu River. Besides family, friends, and food, I miss Louisiana's incredible sunsets one of which we were heading into right now. Welcome back to Ramping Up Your English. Our goal is to help you elevate your level of English proficiency in a way that causes the least amount of stress. Our approach is to make English learning interesting and fun by using a thematic approach. Our first theme is trains and railroads. If you want to see a video clip of the Sunset Limited crossing the Huey P. Long Bridge in New Orleans, find and follow the link on my website. Go to the episode 10 page of letscreate.org. Click on the link for a brief treat. That's all for segment one. We'll ramp up our English sequencing skills when we return with segment two.